intersectional feminism is about power, not people, says Professor Kimberly Crenshaw, while visibility is an improvement over invisibility for a lot of excluded people and groups, understanding is what people really want. Understanding that is not always well reflected in observation of Women's History Month. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people and institutions make the most of Women's History Month, that's March, just as they do Black or LGBTQ months, February and June. They run special series and features your important stories that tend to appear nowhere and at no time else. A whole lot of others, though, simply pay lip service. Or worse, fundraise off special programming for a bit and then revert right back to business as usual, which is to say business and arts and politics and education that leave most of us out. It all reminds me of why I've always been resistant to all this month designating. After all, what's the message? That our schools and media and institutions of influence and power can get away without paying the slightest attention to the majority of the planet for all but just 28, 30, or 31 days a year? What about the rest of the time? That takes me back to Kim's point. Women, people of color, and LGBTQ people don't necessarily need time in the spotlight as much as they need a few centuries of remedial focus someplace else. I'm not talking about a white cis male history month. Some Donald Trump cabinet member is probably working on precisely that. Rather, a focus on power. Stories of women or people of color or LGBT people making it against the odds are nice, but taking a closer look at how those odds got stacked up that way in the first place would be better. How about a few months of focus on the workings of white capitalist colonial patriarchy? That would put the focus in the right place. I only wonder what greeting card messages the Hallmark Corporation would come up with. I'm Laura Flanders. You can write to me, tell me what you think by going to Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com. And you can find all the archives and all my commentaries going back years at our website. Check it out. You can also sign up for our free weekly podcast. Thanks for joining us.